Next to me today I have the new DJI Power 2000. This is DJI's new 2048 watt hour rugged high capacity lithium power storage device. I'm sure a lot of you will be very familiar with the brand DJI. They are the ones who make these state of the art drones. In fact, Ange and I have been using DJI products now for about six years. They're always built incredibly well, packaged well. They're always using the state of the art technology and they are constantly delivering new tech kind of on the bleeding edge of the technology curve at the moment. So I expect nothing less from the Power 2000 today. I want to talk about some specs of it, why I think it would be a really good solution for your camping sort of overlanding needs, and then we'll kind of go into some real world tests and usage of the product today. Okay, first up, let's go into some of the specifications of the DJI Power 2000. So straight off the bat, internally, we have a 3000 watt inverter. So that is providing a true 3000 watts of power all the way down to 0% battery capacity, which is really impressive. Here on the front, we've got four AC outputs, so you can be charging devices while simultaneously running appliances. So, you know, anything from your induction cooktop, refrigerator, coffee machine, and you can also be charging things like your batteries, your laptops, things like that. Then in the front here, we've got four USB-A outputs for charging your phones and then also four USB-C outputs. Two of those are 140 watt capacity. So they are like your super fast charge USB-C, so you can charge laptops, tablets, uh, cameras, things like that just straight out of that USB-C and that still allows you to have free four AC outputs. So the Power 2000 charges really fast from AC. So you can go from 0% to 100% in just 75 minutes, or even 0% to 80% in 45 minutes. So it does charge really fast off AC. Now if you pair that in your vehicle with DJI's super fast car and solar charger, you can hardwire the system up so that it's running off of your car batteries. It'll charge this up really fast. For instance, just with their super fast car charger, you can charge this from zero to 100 in just two and a half hours. So that actually makes for a really good solution. This also has two solar inputs, so you can be at the same time simultaneously charging it from multiple solar panels, for instance, that are up on your roof, or if you have them as a portable sort of solar blanket on the outside of your vehicle. So that makes this a exceptional unit for like your overlanding and your camping. Now DJI is really priding themselves on just how quiet this unit is while it's charging. It's only at around 29 decibels, which is sort of the same as like your household refrigerator. So it means if you've got it in quite a small camping vehicle, it's not gonna keep you awake at night. It's not like this really obnoxious loud charging noise. The Power 2000 utilizes industry leading internal safety protection, as well as a rugged strong exterior. So this can handle a static load of one ton on top of it. So you don't have to worry about it being inside a vehicle having things stacked on it. It's not going to break. And then internally it can handle all kinds of shocks and bumps. So you're going over your corrugated roads. Nothing like that is going to damage the unit, which is really nice. The BMS, which is protecting the LFP lithium battery cells, that is protecting against over voltage, surges and extreme temperatures as well. These LFP battery cells will maintain a charge capacity of 80% after 4,000 charge cycles. So that's something like 10 years. The Power 2000 will also serve effectively as a reliable home backup power storage device. With that UPS, if you have a power outage, you will have uninterruptible power while using the system. Okay, that about wraps up the specifications of the DJI Power 2000. Now I want to show you it working and being utilized in a real world kind of camping overlanding setup. We're in sunny, beautiful Denmark today, and I would like to basically use this device for the entire day for all of our power kind of energy needs. We need to do cooking on our induction. We also need to do a bunch of editing on some videos as well as charging some camera devices, even our drone batteries actually. Now in our vehicle, we do already have a power system, but I'll show you it here on the outside of the vehicle, charging everything that we would normally charge with our inbuilt system. I really do think DJI have come up with a great solution for your kind of your camping and your overlanding, but I really want to just see just how good it is. Okay, let's begin our real world usage scenario. So I would like to be able to boil some water now for my morning cup of coffee. We are using a 2000 watt induction cooktop. It's just a single hob 
We use that for all of our cooking in the camper. So I think it would be a great test if the DJI Power 2000 can cook all of our meals today without receiving any charge. I will charge it up at the end of the day, but also keep in mind that, you know, if there was some more sun, the clouds just come over, I would have this plugged into solar, and I would also have it plugged in with the super fast car charger, and that would enable this to be able to be charged up today if we drove. But if we kind of here in camp stationary, not receiving any charge, I just want to see how uh, the Power 2000 does. So AC is on, so it is plugged in now, and then I usually run this about eight out of 10. So usually pretty high power. Now, as a lot of you will know, induction does require a large amount of power. So at the same time, I could be charging things. I could be running a coffee maker. I don't need to right now, so I'll just run this. Uh, but perhaps at around lunchtime, uh, we'll be charging some stuff like the DJI batteries and things like that as well. Coffee in hand, the world is a better place. The unit impressively is still at 100%, so I don't see any issues with cooking all of our meals on that induction cooktop today. What I'm gonna do now this morning is I'm gonna bring that around into the living room area of our truck, and I'm gonna start editing this video that we're filming right now. I won't show you everything that we do with the unit today because it'll just end up being too long of a video and it won't be very interesting. But it'll give you a good idea by the end of the day of what you can expect uh, in a sort of a camping overlanding style situation with the DJI Power 2000. Okay, so I've been editing the video for about an hour now roughly. I'm also charging the drone batteries off the USB-C, charging the Sony battery off the AC as well. Of course the computer is plugged in and I'm charging my phone too. Now we're using a program called Premiere Pro which is very energy hungry. It does sap a lot of battery power. And this is a pretty high powered gaming laptop as well. So even just having this running actually uses quite a bit of power. We are down to 93%. So uh, that's really good. I'm really impressed with that. I think I would only need to do maybe another hour of editing today. So let's see that brings me down to sort of 85% maybe once the charging is done. That leaves plenty for lunch, dinner and second coffee. Alright, so you saw we had lunch before and I've just finished doing all the editing that I need to do for today. So about two hours of editing plus charging all the devices that I showed you. We're at 79%, it's really impressive. I'm about to do second coffee now, so boiling some more water. That'll be the last coffee for today, I hope. Very impressed with where the unit is at right now. I do think even if I had added in our 12 volt fridge and our lighting, I really think at this rate the unit would easily last us two or even potentially two and a half to three days without any charge coming into the unit at all, which I think is really, really impressive. Okay, so Ange just finished cooking dinner, our last meal for the day. We're at 62% on the DJI Power 2000. So very, very reasonable. That was a very power hungry day for us, of course, with no charge coming in as well. So we're very happy with how the unit performed. Now it is time to begin to charge it back up and just test just how quiet this is. So open up the little charge port. Gosh, you really can't hear it at all. Maybe it'll kick in a little bit louder soon. I'll keep an eye on it and film it to show you. I've got my 12 volt fridge running in the back and that is much, much louder. So it's saying at the moment 42 minutes until full from 63%. So really fast charge. Yeah, I'm very happy with the unit. Hopefully today's video has enabled you to learn a bit more about the Power 2000, whether it's the right choice uh, for you and your application. But this has been a, a fun little test, very happy with it. I'll keep an eye on this, see if it any, uh, gets any louder. If not, that'll be a wrap from me.